All right, hey guys, my name is Allison Kay and I thought I'd come to you with a simple grocery haul today. So I went to Kroger, I did click list, and I got some groceries for $58. I believe I can put the actual total right there. Um, but I'm gonna go through it with you guys and show you, and yeah, I'm excited to get into it. So, um, camera stopped recording, but it didn't, so I ended up stopping it. <laughs> but um, first of all, I know it's hard to see them in bags, but I got kale, two heads of broccoli, and two bell peppers, as well as some onions and some little yellow or gold potatoes. Um, and then I probably should, I should have gotten more fruit for sure, but we'll see how this lasts us. I got some strawberries and some cherries. Um, so that's exciting. <laughs> and then for some dairy things, I got some Greek yogurt. I got vanilla, mixed berry, blueberry, and strawberry. I like to have a variety. Um, and then also some eggs, some shredded Colby Jack cheese, some shredded mozzarella, and a half gallon of 2% milk. Um, and then also some Parmesan cheese. I guess that's dairy too. We'll put that in there. <laughs> so that's produce and dairy. Um, I had a coupon for a free one of these. I think it applied to the receipt, hopefully. Um, so that is the Bird's Eye Power Blend in Southwest style. I also got some Honeycrisp Medley cereal, but it's kind of like a granola too, so I thought that'd be good with the um, yogurts, because I can only eat yo yogurt with a lot of granola. <laughs> um, pineapple chunks. Now, I'm disappointed. I got two cans of these for a coupon, and then they didn't have one of them, so I couldn't change the order on ClickList to make it so I could get my coupon um, to work still, so I just ended up with one tiny can of almonds, which is kind of disappointing, but whatever. <laughs> And then I also, I don't know if my coupon applied for these, but I had a coupon for a bag of Cheetos, so I thought it would apply, but I don't know if it did. But I got these Simply Cheetos Puffs White Cheddar um, flavored, and I got some baking soda st to stock up as a cleaning item. Um, I'm going to put that down in an extra pantry that I have going for fall time, so I don't have to buy as much in the fall when we have a baby and if the pandemic becomes worse again or anything, so I'm stocking up. So that's my stocking up item this week. Um, I also got some flour tortillas. And finally, these two snacks. I love these, um, I guess they're called Harvest Snaps. These little like veggie things. I love this flavor, the mango chili lime. I thought we would try the Southern style barbecue. So Sadie wants in. I will be back for a quick close of the video. And that is what I got for about $58. Oh, and chicken. I'll show you that too in a second. All right, so I also got some chicken breast. It is how much? Um, boneless, skinless chicken breast. It's two, no. 6.22 pounds, and yeah, so it came out to be $12. Um, so it's a whole lot of chicken that'll last us for like three or four meals. Um, so that is really nice. And the bag is really wet, so I'm really hoping that's just condensation because it's very hot out and not chicken juice that's leaking because that would be really gross. So I have to look into that um, and see what's going on. But that is it for my grocery haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I will try to, I still try to use Ibotta, but. I feel like it hasn't been working out quite as well lately for getting um, rebates on my groceries because I don't buy a lot of name brand things, so um, I don't usually get that much money back, unfortunately. But this is what I got once again. So chicken, snacks, and pantry items, and then dairy and fruits and veggies. So yeah, nice and yummy. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. God bless, and I'll see you later. Bye. Thank you.